through what's this last 28 hours been like for, for you and the rest of, the, uh, of your teammates? It's been like a roller coaster, really. Uh, emotionally, specifically, an emotional roller coaster. Um, we had that meeting yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, regarding the uh, Coach McIntyre status, and it was like unfortunate to see that all unfold. And uh, it's sad to see, you know, Jay have to go through that. We had a little talk afterwards, and he definitely got emotional. So uh, I know that burden that he feels is you know, definitely heavy. But at this point, um, kind of have to look at it, kind of from the business standpoint, where these kind of things happen pretty often, and you know, it's definitely unfortunate. But you have no choice but to move on from this. And that's one thing that Coach McIntyre kind of did um, put an emphasis on throughout his uh, in the last couple of weeks here is that you, you don't have you, know, you have one type of reaction now they go up or excuse me two, two reactions now they can go up from here or we can go down from here and fall apart and I think you have no choice but to go up. I mean is that easier said than done just considering I mean most teams don't have these types of distractions not just stemming from yesterday but you know early last week etc. <clears throat> it definitely is difficult and it's definitely you know, different than what every, almost any, everyone here has expected. Uh, I personally have never been a part of a, an immediate coaching change like that. So to see that happen was, you know, just different. But, uh, you know, kind of seeing my background with my, with my father, he kind of uh, goes through those kind of things, just, you know, with his background in the NFL. So it's a, something that kind of saw play out and I can, you know, kind of, kind of have a feel for what's going on a little bit better. It's a different dynamic having uh, Coach McIntyre's son be on the team. Uh, and still be on the team. So do you guys kind of put your arm around him, him a little bit and, and help him, you know, bring him along through this last game? Yeah, we're definitely going to try to bring up Jay. And he's, you know, if anything, is going through it the most out of all the teammates. You know, he, t he said yesterday, like, one thing he said that really stuck with me was this is the first time, you know, his, all his years in college that he's walked into that team meeting room and his dad wasn't there. And that kind of just hit home. Like, you know, that's, he's, going, he's going through a lot right now. And I think we're all doing a really good job at kind of sticking up for him. And, you know, the other coaches as well, anyone who's kind of going through something, we have a great support system. You know, we're going to get each other's backs, definitely. Was there a, a final message of any sort just from, from Coach Mack to you guys, just that, as an outgoing message, I guess? Well, what we do know for a fact is that he wants us to, you know, finish the season well, not necessarily for him. You know, ideally, we want to do it for him, and I can, I can feel for that. But just to, I think, finish this last game with a win and secure the bowl win, is the most he could ask for as far as us. He was never the uh, stingy coach. You know, when he was asked to leave FSU, he wasn't, you know, pointing fingers or any, anything of that nature. You know, he's definitely still hoping for the best for us. And yeah, when, we know he's going to be watching us and we're going to try to do it for him. So we know that you guys have wanted to win each of the last six, but what has to be different for you guys to go out there this week and actually get this win and, and find a way to get, to get it done? You know, it's a matter of, you know, focus, a matter of want. And we kind of hit on those throughout these last few weeks, and then we wouldn't come out on top. So it's a matter of not just who wants it, but you know who really wants it, who's going to really show it. And uh, it's obviously easier said than done. Uh, Coach Roper hit on this a little bit. He said that you know it's not going to be able to. You can't just show up on game day and expect to play. I mean that is game day is an easy time to focus and lock in. But if we can do that Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. that's what's really going to allow us to win this game. And for game plan in California, we know that they're they're a talented team. Um, they yeah they, they won six games this, this year so far, and they, they do a lot of scheming as far as looking at what you know hurt other teams, and they kind of attack those points. So we kind of need to tighten up on what we screwed up on in the past, and I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest game plan going into this week. Did you like what you saw from the team out of practice today? I did like what we saw. You know, it's like a new, almost like a new edge, a new, a new focus for people, just kind of. I think that the dynamic change uh, did kind of switch up our mindset a little bit for the better, you know, whether it's a, a little bit or a lot, you know, we'll see how it goes on, but yeah, it's there, I think. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.